hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Designer don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Love it now, she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit like Boy, ain't no fucking wake up. way, boy, boy ain't You no already way. wake up I'm glad boy, ain't Hello, no way, boy. hello Hello, you already know who I be I don't need to say no intro Shout out to everybody out here, though Oh, y'all dropping battles on YouTube now Oh, URL has dropped battles on YouTube. Jesus sent a flood. But I'm, I'm going to break this down. I want to get into some things. I want to see. I want to look at something real quick, though, man. Because it's crazy how, for, all, for the last two, three years, there have been hundreds and hundreds of blogs, battlers, people, everything saying the importance of YouTube. URL is doing Battle Week, where they drop some battles on YouTube. They dropped Fonz versus Rum Nitty yesterday, right? Fonz versus Rum Nitty was a phenomenal battle. I watched it. When they like, like the funny thing is, when the joints drop on YouTube, I got because now I gotta, I gotta take URL. You know what I'm saying? Like hop in the car, take the. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's talk. I wanna, I wanna talk to y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all try to act like I don't exist and shit like that, but. <laughs> None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. Anyway, so um, you have a group of fans that have the app. Real supporters, people that support what you got going on, that's gonna rock with you throughout thick and thin. Then there is a vast majority of people who do not have the app. These people are still fans of battle rap. For the last two, three years, you guys have found a way to not feed them at all. I always have been one that says, what makes you think that marketing doesn't matter? Even McDonald's steals markets and it's one of the biggest restaurants in the world. There's a Ben's commercial on TV every day. You know what I'm saying? Shit, like Waffle, all these, every restaurant, every company, most of these businesses do have commercials. Only companies that really don't have commercials is like Bentley, Ferrari, Lamborghini. They don't do commercials. You know why they don't do commercials? Because niggas who's watching them can't afford them. <laughs> most of the people who will watch a Ferrari can't afford one. Or most of the people who's going to watch a Bentley commercial can't afford one, so they don't need commercials. You guys are in a consumer market, and you have competition. I don't even know who's the marketing director over there. I've been saying this for years. If you, like, so... Uh, you know, in some of my ventures, I've learned a lot about some real estate, you know what I'm saying? So real estate, which is a great business, if anybody wants to get into it, it's a great business. You can learn a lot, you can grow a lot, you can build a lot, develop, and things like that. There's a thing called a comparative market analysis, right? Where you take three houses and you compare. If you're buying one, like the seller, if the buyer wants to buy a house, you compare it to the other houses that have sold in the neighborhood, right? And in this comparative market analysis, what happens is, I will compare my price that I want to purchase something versus two or three other similar ones. But they can be almost the same. Like let's say one house has three bedrooms and the other one has one and a, two and a half, right? Or like a small room and, or, and the next one has uh, two bedrooms but one bathroom and the other houses have two bed bathrooms, right? But the one has one bathroom, right? If you're comparing what you're doing at this dollar amount versus the others, if your, ba if your house has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, and this ba house has two bedrooms and one bathroom, the price of this house over here should not be higher than what I'm paying for this house over here because I have more amenities involved. What I'm saying is this. You have other leagues who have consistently gained ground by using YouTube. I could not understand for the love of me why uh, the biggest league would say we're, we're good on YouTube? Like you're good on YouTube, nigga, the NBA put shit on YouTube. NBA, M MMA put shit on YouTube. MLB put shit on, M all, every sporting brand puts things on YouTube. I couldn't understand it. I was like, yo, these guys are living in a fish tank. And then, not only was it that, 
The bloggers can't even use the footage. If you use the footage, your video will get taken down. People say, oh, why you don't recap this, recap that? I'm like, dog, I'm not using their footage. They're going to pull it down. I'm not going to lose my channel for these niggas. Like, that's a double win. Lose my channel. They love that. I told you they act like I don't exist. So lose my channel. Well, they did at me in a couple tweets the other day. I don't know why, but whatever. So, um, but like promotional joints, you know what I'm saying? They, I guess you like, we'll fuck with you even if we don't fuck with you to help promote what we got going on. I get it, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way the business works. But, uh, so... <laughs> You hadn't dropped nothing on YouTube for almost two, three years. I was like, how is the artist developing without being promoted? Like, nobody sees this. The folks in jail, the folks in college, the people overseas in the military, I'm like, yo, you're losing so much of a demographic. Fonz versus Rum Nitty drops, it does 72,000 overnight. That's great numbers for that battle, and it's a fire battle. I watched it again. The clip, the clip, the clip, the clip. Long as a ruler, and it hit defines everything in it. Like, come on, bro. Sci-fi, what Rum did to my tie, that nigga was bugging. And we did a recap on that joint. That joint did 18,000, right? So 18,000 on the recap is a pretty good number for a recap. Like, you know, most people watch them, some people don't. But what I'm saying is, uh, having, we was doing recaps that was doing great numbers because the battles wasn't available. People would have to literally vicariously watch the battle through us. If you go to YouTube right now and put Tay Rock versus Daylight, I'm pretty sure one of the first things that's gonna pop up, I'm fine with that too, I'm not tripping, right? Tay Rock versus Daylight. The first thing that's gonna pop up is the caffeine reaction, uh, and then you scroll down, and then my video. Like, caffeine's reaction to the video, obviously they did great numbers. Actually, I did, uh, Jazz and Geechee did 125,000 in two months. I dropped the reaction to the video. It was three years ago. It did 250,000. So y'all letting me get all of you. Don't fuck with me. You let me get all the views off the battle. It was a very good recap. It was like almost 40 minutes long. We did our thing. It was called, uh, How Am I Getting a Reaction? That drum was pretty fire. But what I'm saying is, you got other people dominating your algorithm by using the content. I mean, we gonna always recap them anyway, but the battles ain't now. It was like, yo, I could not for the life of me understand. So at the end of the day, shout out to URL, everything they got going on over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that y'all finally dropped some battles on YouTube. It kind of makes Easy's rhetoric seem right. So now all of the shit that Easy did to leave URL has now been relinquished because they're doing what, what he wanted to, them to do in the beginning. Release niggas battles on YouTube. Yes, you can have an app. Yes, you can have a strong app, but guess what's the easiest way to promote that app? Between battles like you do it, hey, the biggest library, booty boot, cliche shit he says, but that's the way to promote it. You know, the way you're gonna see these battles, he said, if you're just seeing these battles now, you should be a duh, duh. Like, do you, do they want, how you gonna promote it? How was you gonna promote it, on Twitter? <laughs> or Instagram? <laughs> what the fuck y'all was gonna do? Y'all be thinking the whole world is caught up in these small apps. It's just a small demographic. 70 whole thousand people who never seen Rum Nitty, maybe some did, but we love to watch shit on YouTube. I told you I watched it on YouTube last night. We just love to watch shit on YouTube. You could get the people who's talking about it and watching it to watch it again. We'll watch it, I watched it again. What do you know? People watching them, you make money off YouTube. Okay, the YouTube money don't matter. Get the YouTube money to the artist. Fuck it. That's what I would do. If the money ain't that big of a deal, make it an incentive. Okay, if your battle drops on YouTube, we split the money amongst the artists. I guarantee you, they could use a quick little 500,000. You can't tell me how much money a battle's gonna make on YouTube. I know how much money videos make on YouTube. I got a thousand of them up here. You can't, you, you can't sell us bullshit. We know the prices. You can't sell me no bullshit. So I know what the, the views, what type of money this could bring in. Extra revenue by just putting something out there for the fans to grasp, the fans to get a hold of. You had a lot of fans riding for you and nobody could, <laughs> it would be funny. I see artists trying to stick up for the fact that battles aren't dropping on YouTube. I used to laugh like, nigga, you want your battle. <laughs> I used to be like, y'all, I understand y'all sticking up the league, but nigga, you want your battles on YouTube. Uh, so to the positive, uh, I definitely think it's a good outlook. You got a bunch of MCs that's going to be on Summer Madness, and their battles, you know, if, if you're dropping battles, I pretty much assume that most of the battles that are dropping are going to have people in Summer Madness, like Rum Nitty versus uh, Fonz. It makes sense. It promotes both of them. It promotes the event, and you can get a bunch of trailers and more rollouts because I haven't heard one word about Summer Madness being sold out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and normally around now, that shit is Saturday. It is Saturday. 
Sunday, my bad. Sunday. It's not sold out yet. Normally, around now is when you get that announcement or you see that BAM, that flyer that says, oh, it's sold out. Niggas want to get tickets. Be like, oh, shit, I ain't get a ticket. Woo -dee -woo -dee -woo -dee. I don't see that happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it won't happen or it can't. It has not. And today is um, Tuesday. Maybe it'll sell out later in the week. Maybe they'll just say it's sold out. You know, sometimes people try to add a little sauce to it. Like, yo, now the event is sold out. But, um, you know, it is what it is. But I think media being able to use some of the footage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, even the ones you don't fuck with, I get it. You might not fuck with it, it's cool, 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 but you can't do nothing about it. So it's one of things where it's kind of like one hand wash the other, both wash the face. You ain't got to fuck with somebody to fuck with somebody, but use them for a fringe benefit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to make money together, regardless of whether you like it or not. You got to learn to use people. You got to do it all the time. You got to learn to use people in an effective way. Because I'm going to recap your battles regardless. Regardless of how you feel. Like, people be wanting Summer Madness to be bad. I don't want Summer Madness to be bad. Trust and believe me. I want it to be one of the greatest spectacles ever. Because I'm going to recap it anyway. I don't want to sit around and waste my weekend on bad battles. I don't. So, I would love for it to be a phenomenal event. You know what I mean? Like, don't get it twisted. <laughs> I, I, I see a lot of what verbs say. Where I'm getting paid at is where I'm at. I'm getting paid to, to work with, over here. I'm going to do an event over here. They're going to they gonna give me a look, an opportunity over here. I'm going to work over here. I'll be upstairs working with them, too. Like, no, this is about my kids at the end of the day. This ain't about no league. These leagues is, these leagues is just these leagues. They'll show you quickly they don't give a fuck about you. So, for the media and the people that's doing this, you got to get yours, you know what I'm saying? Get yours, unapolog unapologetically get yours because nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Your lights get cut out, it don't matter. So don't be trying to be out here talking about one league. You can't talk about one league, get in your mouth. Don't talk about them. Don't talk about that nigga. You better talk about every motherfucking league, every battle. Matter of fact, I got a Rum Nitty versus uh, Illmac joint. I'm about to drop that next, you know what I'm saying? That's the next joint. But shout out to URL. You finally, you finally dropped some battles. You know, maybe you should keep it up. Uh, every month drop a battle or every couple months just drop something to keep the artists motivated knowing that they have a chance to get on YouTube. Y'all might not think YouTube is, is a big deal, but uh, ask the niggas who done bought houses and then got their life together and then took care of their family and pay bills and feed people off of talking shit or dropping shit on YouTube. Don't let them tell you there ain't no money on YouTube. <laughs> Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Designer don't, don't mean shit, cause I got it on With a bad it bitch, think she it, but she got it wrong Love it now, she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit like it's written on a stone 